for 30 degrees angle. First, with a scale and a pencil, a line segment is drawn on the middle of the page. The two endpoints are named O and A. Next, a pencil compass is taken. A circle arc is drawn, with the tip of the compass, placed at the point O. The arc intersects the straight line, OA, at the point, X. Then, another circle arc, of the same radius is drawn, with the tip placed at point X. Make it slightly larger. It intersects the previous arc, at point, Y. After that, put the tip of the compass, at point Y. And, draw an arc of same radius, to get an intersection, against the second arc. This point of intersection is, point C. Now, align the ruler, about the point O, and the point C. And, draw a line segment between them. This line segment is named, OB. Thus, the angle AOB, is a 30 degrees angle. For drawing a 45 degrees angle. Start, by drawing a straight line segment, on the middle of the page. Let this straight line segment, be called, OA. A pencil compass is introduced. A circle arc of a random radius is drawn, taking point O, as center. This arc touches, OA, at point U. Then, another circle arc, of same radius, is drawn, making point X, as its center. This circle arc intersects, the previous one, at point B. Thereafter, point Y is made center, to draw another circle arc of equal radius. This time, slightly larger. Let, this arc meets the first one, at point W. Again, point W is taken as center of another circle arc, to get an intersection, against the third arc. This point of intersection is X. Then, align the ruler about point O, and point X. A small line is drawn, to get point of intersection, against the first circle arc. The point is named, as, Y. Then, two circle arcs of same radius, are drawn from point U, and point Y, respectively. These two arcs, meet at, point C. Finally, with the help of a ruler, and a pencil, point C, and point O, are connected. Hence, angle AOB, is a 45 degrees angle. 60 degrees angle. With a scale, and a pencil, a straight line is drawn, in the middle of the page. Name of this segment is, OA. Next, a pencil compass is taken. A circle arc was drawn, with its tip, placed at the point O. The arc of the circle intersects the straight line at the point, Y. Then, another circle arc, of the same radius is drawn, with the spike placed, at point Y. It intersects the previous arc, at the point Z. Then, align the ruler about the point O, and the point, Z. And, draw a line segment between them. This line segment is named, OB. Thus, the angle, AOB, is a 60 degrees angle. 75 degrees angle. Let's start building the angle, by drawing a straight line, as always, on the middle of the sheet. This straight line segment is named, OA. We need a pencil compass. A circle segment, of any radius is drawn, taking the point O, as the center. This length of radius, will be kept constant, throughout the process. 
This circle arc crosses the line, OA, at the point U. Then, another circle arc, of the same radius, is drawn. This time, point U is taken as the center. It intersects the first circle arc, at the point B. After this, another circle segment, of equal radius is drawn, centering the point B. This time, a bigger arc has been drawn. Suppose, this circle arc intersects the first one, at the point W. Again, placing the tip of the compass on W, another circle arc is drawn, to get an intersection, against the third arc. The point of intersection, is X. Then, align the ruler, about O, and X. And get a small across the first arc. This is point Y. Now, if we connect point O, and point B, then, a 60 degree angle will be created. And, if we join O, and Y, it produces a 90 degree angle. Thus, the angle 75 degree, lies between, OB, and OY. If we bisect the angle, B, O, Y, which is a 30 degree, we should get a 15 degree angle. 60 and 15, make 75. So, we are now, going to bisect the angle, B, O, Y. We will draw, two circle arcs, of the same size, from point B, and, point Y. These two arcs meet each other, at point Z. Finally, with the help of a scale and a pencil, points Z, and O, are joined. So, we got the required angle. Its name is angle AOB. Ninety degrees angle. A straight line is drawn, on the middle of the page. The two endpoints are named, point O and point A. Next, a pencil compass is taken. A circle arc is drawn, while keeping its tip at the point O. This arc intersects the straight line, OA, at the point W. Then, another circle segment, of the same radius, is drawn, after placing the spike at the point W. Let the circle arc intersects the first one at the point X. Now, with the tip at the point X, another large circle segment, with the same radius is taken. This arc, intersects the first arc at the point Y. Then, construct an arc from the point Y, till it intersects the third arc. This point of intersection is Z. Then, with the help of a scale, a line segment is drawn from the point O to the point Z. This line segment may be named OB. So, the angle AOB, is a 90 degrees. One hundred five degrees angle. Let's start building the angle by drawing a straight line on the middle of the sheet. This straight line segment is named O A. We need a pencil compass. A circle segment of any radius is drawn by taking the point O as the center. This length of radius will be kept constant, throughout the process. This circle arc crosses the line, O, A, at the point, U. Then, another circle arc of the same radius is drawn. This time, point U, is taken as the center. It intersects the previous circle arc at the point, B. After this, another circle segment of equal radius is drawn, centering the point B. This time, a bigger arc has been drawn. Suppose, this circle arc crossed the first one at the point, W. Again, placing the tip of the compass on, W, another circle arc is drawn, to get an intersection against the third arc. 
the point of intersection is x. Next, align the scale along, O, and, X, and take an intersection against the first circle arc. This point of contact is Y. Now if we connect point, O and point Y, then a 90 degree angle will be created. And if we join, O, and, W, it will produce a 120 degree angle. Thus, the angle of 105 degree lies between, O, Y, and, O, W. If we bisect the angle, W, O, Y, which is of 30 degree, we should get a 15 degree angle. 90, and 15, make 105. So, we are now, going to bisect the angle, W, O, Y. Two circle arcs, of the same radius, are drawn from point, W, and point, Y. These two arcs meet each other, at point Z. Finally, with the help of a scale, and a pencil, point, Z, and point, O, are joined. So, we have completed the construction of the required angle. Its name is angle, A, O, B. 120 degrees angle. First of all, with a scale and a pencil, a line segment is drawn on the middle of the page. The two endpoints are named, O, and, A. Next, a pencil compass is taken. A large circle arc is drawn, with the tip of the compass placed at the point, O. The arc of the circle intersects the straight line, O, A, at point, X. Then, another circle arc, of the same radius, is drawn, with the tip of the compass placed at point X. It intersects the previous arc at point Y. After that, put the tip of the compass at point Y. And draw another circle arc of same radius, to get an intersection, against the first circle arc. This point of intersection is, named as, Z. Now, align the ruler about the point, O, and the point, Z. And draw a line segment between them. This line segment is named, O, B. Thus, the angle, A, O, B, is a 120 degrees angle.